Well, I guess I'm dressed for the part this time. TKE here. What I mean by that is that I just got back from an unsuccessful hike. What does unsuccessful mean? I had explosive diarrhea in the woods. You wanted to know. No, you fucking didn't. Uh, it's like 110 degrees outside. Okay, it's not 110 degrees. It's like, it's like 90 degrees. And, uh... I gotta tell you, I didn't want to get heat exhaustion when I had left no flight plan with anybody and then not be heard of again. Although, when the thought crossed my mind, I said, hey man, at least he'd be dying doing what he loved. Why am I afraid of myself in the third person as a he? Yes. I'm bi-gender, trans-phobic, bi ram a ding dong God, do I just, every time, it's like, do I throw the take out? Do I keep the fucking take? Is it terrible? Will you hate it? Is anyone gonna watch? I'll get like a thousand views, like one thousand views, and then, you know? Most of the comments will just say he's back. And then like, after a short time, I'll forget to check all the comments, because new YouTube is, is just terrible. It's just AIDS. Um, I've been wanting to do this video for a super long time. Super fucking long time have I wanted to do this video. Uh, and when I say, when I'm at Dress the Part, I... Okay. I'm a huge fan of the show Lost. Warning, just putting this out here, fucking, this is gonna take some time. A lot of time. And you're gonna need to go make a sandwich. If you need to, you know, get, get some tea, get some soda, turn off the video, masturbate, I don't know what you, that's, you gotta do it then, so, cause it's gonna take a minute. And shout out to all my homeboys who put uh, actual review starts at whatever. Huge, please thank you for doing that. Huge fan of the show Lost. Um, I recently, well not recently, about a year ago I guess, when I was living in Maryland right before the move, I, uh, I rewatched it uh, on the Netflix and I, and I highly recommend you go and do that. Uh, the thing is, is it first aired in 2004 and when I looked at it looked at the, the, you know, the thing on Netflix, and it says Lost 2004. Uh, and I said, that can't be. And I just, I used old people retard logic. I just said, that can't be, because that would make it come out, it came out when I was 15. And then, like, the higher functioning part of my brain was like, no, retard, it just came out when you were 15. You watched it on your, you watched it on your shitty tube television, that was in uh, 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 your parents' room because they were watching the news. Actually, my mom started watching it with me, then my dad and my brother never did, but he would do this super autistic and annoying thing where he'll fucking, he won't watch a show, but then he'll wander in halfway, say he doesn't want to watch this show, and then ask a whole bunch of fucking questions. Anyway. Um, some people say that they, a lot of times when I ask people, I rarely find people who watch the whole thing and have the same passion for it that I did. Um, usually you see people who didn't watch it at all, or watched a few seasons and let it trail off. The people who didn't watch it at all, uh, I kind of have an axe to grind against them, because I, I honestly just feel like... Television is finally going in a really good direction, sort of. You know, we're, we're moving away from... You know, uh, we're moving, we're, we're becoming less, uh, uh, Big Bang Theory, I mean, hopefully, uh, and we're becoming more Breaking Bad. But these cool-ass shows, like Breaking Bad and, and The Orange is the New Black, actually, The Orange is the New Black really isn't. This new style of cinematic, of cinematic, um, television viewing would not have been possible without Lost. Lost was the first show on network television in recent years to take the shot of um, people will tune in every week to see this progressing story and we're not just going to go back to uh, what's the status quo, that's what it's called. Uh, in The Simpsons where, you know, the episode ends and the dog is dead and the next episode it's still there and it's just status quo. Lost was one of the first shows to not do that. Uh, and it's really unfortunate that a lot of all shows took that same risk that Lost did, and it didn't pay off because stupid people didn't know how to keep tuning in. Now, I admit, Netflix makes this possible, which is why Netflix is the fucking future and television is just a box, but... Um, there were shows like Lost, uh, similar. Um, Walking Dead actually is another... Is, is another big one that, you know, if, if Lost unlocked the door and gently pushed it in, um, I definitely think... Uh, 
I definitely think Walking Dead is trying to kick the door in. Um, and we've, there's a whole, there's whole episodes about, you know, they're, they're Walking Dead. Uh, no, there's an episode of, of my, I, I did a Rick Grimes action figure review. And I talked about my love of Rick. Fucking Rick. Um, so, th yeah, th they were the first show to really do that. The problem is, is the way that the show ended. I'm not gonna spoiler alert. Oh, and also, 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 also. This is not my Batman glass. Um, also, uh, when I came back to YouTube or whatever, when I posted the, uh, yeah, it's, it's over here. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, shut up, I have to get it! <laughs> I'm not getting up from this chair. When I did, finally came back to post some lost footage. Lost footage, yeah. I actually have a lot of videos that are lost footage that I haven't published, and I really struggle with whether or not I'm going to publish them. Um, some would say that maybe this struggle pushes me to the brink of madness. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> um, yes, so, uh, when, I, when I first published that... Uh, that video I needed, I had been gone for, um, for like a good year or two. And by the way, this neckbeard thing, I'm just gonna point this out. I, I went hiking today, man. I smell like a wolf's butt. Don't complain, you can't fucking smell me. But I know there's gonna be people writing about how bad the neckbeard was in the Raven Rock Park review. And it's just because I just don't give a shit. I literally don't give a shit. Like, like some, some fucks? One fuck? No, zero fucks, sir. Zero. Zero fucks. Um... This uh, girl I work with um, down here, uh, she she highly underestimates the level of fucks that I give. And she said, uh, what'd she say? The first time she saw me, like, sling back uh, a monster energy drink all in one shot, I've been told I'm, like, the chug master by one of the pharmacists there. She's like, you and my boyfriend, what is it with you guys being able to drink, like, those Arizona tea things in, like, the time that it takes you to, like, do a shot? I'm like, <clears throat> alcoholism. Uh, fucking... So she seems to like shotgun this monster energy drink, and she's like, you know, if you don't stop doing that, you're gonna die of a heart attack. And I said, what makes you think I don't want to die of a heart attack right now? Look where I live! I'm just fucking... And then I think the day I was all like... She's like talking about like how much fun it is to get her hair done at the salon, and I'm being a douche, and I'm just all like, yeah, but you can just like shave that up and then not have to deal with it. I was like, you know how long it takes me to get my hair ready in the morning? No time! It's fantastic! I don't do it because I think it looks good! I do, because I don't want to have to spend five more minutes combing my hair or doing up. Man, I want to sleep the fuck in. And I said, I can't wait till I go bald. Now I'll never have to fucking deal with it. And, uh, and she said, oh, do you ever want to have a girlfriend? And I, I was just all like, no, because all they do is take your money and then give you mental problems. You know, I'm just, because I was being funny. So I thought that I would get a, yep. So... Yeah, no, I, I don't, I'm not doing this because I think it looks good. I just, I legitimately don't fucking care. Um, were we talking about Lost? I told you this one was going to be a long one. It's going to be a fucking long one, and I don't give a shit, man. It's, if this video takes three hours, you know, launch it or don't. Most of you will not, which is fine, because I don't care. I feel like, I feel like it looks like I'm eating Alice's head, like, ah, ah. And just move her out of the way. You will look up and won't save us. And I will look down and I'll whisper no. Oh my god, you're hot. Why does it... Why does it always do that? Why do I always... Why do I always make it awkward? I don't fucking know. You're the one watching. Who's the, who's the bigger... Who's the bigger retard? Me, you. It's fucking... It's right! That's right! Um... The way it lost ended pissed off a lot of people, myself included. And I, and I can tell you... Oh, well, yeah. And uh, hang on, that's, that's also... Book note, book, what's the word? Book note? Is that a word? That's not a word. I think I meant bookmark. That's what I'm, that's what we're doing. Yeah. Bookmark that. When I posted the, uh, the Alice action figure review, I had to create an opening that I think, um, thoroughly expressed how I felt about coming back. And, um, without spoiling the episode, it was one of the best episodes in television history. And I believe it was called Man of Science, Man of Faith, Part 2. Um... And I based my entire opening skit off of that. Uh, me and Zach literally went through the we watched that whole sequence, uh, that the end of that episode, which was the season finale at the time, like in like the second or third season, 
uh, and, and I, I, I compared every single fucking line and found a way to make it work within the context of me being a, a demi-popular YouTube douche. Um, and I really, really like that skit, and I really like that episode. Uh, it's, it's one of the best episodes, I think, that I've, I've ever... It's, it's, I enjoy watching it. I watch it with my eyeballs, and then it pleases me in my brain, and then gives me a hard dick. Okay, not that last part. Maybe I just fucking can So, the way the lost ended pissed off, but there's just that watch that goes beep. It's happened in, like, every... Like, at least four or five episodes. I don't know which one I set that goes beep. This is the one that goes beep. This is the one that knocks! You're goddamn run! Fucking Breaking Bad was also a really great show. Um, the way that the uh, the series ended uh, pissed off a lot of people, and it pissed off my family. And one of the biggest problems was that one one of the seasons, I think the fifth one, had a lack of episodes due to the fact that there was a writer's strike, because Hollywood can't pay the fucking writer, and that's not good. It's sort of like when you come to a pharmacy. And then you can't get it done in 10, 15 minutes, and then you ask why? It's because they can't find any good help. And why can't they find any good help? Because you won't fucking pay them. Oh, it's genius. Um, I think that one of the major flaws was that the show had, first of all, really awesome themes. Let's like get that out of the way. The show was literally a, an allude, it was heavily inspired by the game Myst. So that in and of itself is just awesome. It was, it, it, it had action, it had mystery, it had suspense, minor elements of horror or thriller, um, and it, it, it had a great cast, and the fact that they basically kind of created a situation or a scenario where they could just sort of do whatever they want and tell a story about magic and giants and, and, and faith and God. The, the problem is, is that... One, the writer's strike, and then when they finally got it booted back up in a way to, like, kind of give you what you wanted, um, they, they made... A, a, one of the other major themes was, like, theoretical physics and science. But what we didn't know was that the show wasn't ever supposed to diverge from being about magic. So it was just magical realism, I think they call it. It was just, like, taking magic... Well, actually, if there's that quote by Arthur C. Clarke, any technology sufficiently advanced enough is indistinguishable from magic. So maybe that's, you know, the feeling they were going for. But ultimately, in the last season, after the season six, I believe, where they went, basically, spoiler alert, time travel was introduced. And the way that they handled the time travel on the island was very interesting. But what we were supposed to know, and there was no way we could have known it, is that, um... It was always supposed to be within the context of magic, you know, you, you can, th they were just throwing out, you know, science-y sounding words to, to you, know, you know, Morty, you, you can't, you can't just like name like a science-y sounding word and then a car park for a spaceship, it doesn't work that way, Morty. Um, so they, uh, I think they confused a lot of their fan bases and a lot, and then like the theories just got weirder on down the line because we were just barking in the dark, going nuts, trying to figure out how they were going to land it, and ultimately... I think the way that it landed wasn't really bad. I think at the time we were expecting something totally different because they threw out so many red herrings. Um, oh, by the way, the, the whole thing about they're in purgatory the entire time on the island, that's not true. The writers actually came out a few years ago and said that it wasn't true. And that actually, if you watch it, the... What's the word? Not continuity. Yeah, that's kind of the word I'm looking for. The continuity is actually really well fucking done. Um, but I think a lot of the fans just got burned. Because we, we thought we were going to get a science-y sounding ending. We even had, me and my family had a personal theory that it was kind of a take on Groundhog's Day or, um, or, um, there's, there's another film that's really amazing, but I, I don't want to ruin it by telling you, so I'm just going to, it's, it's like the ending of, uh, of Jacob's Ladder, which is a fantastic film, and there's just no way to not have it instantly ruined for you, just by explaining a little bit of the plot, but Triangle. I think Triangle was going for, look it up, independent film, really fucking awesome, need to rewatch that soon. Uh, Triangle was going for that, what we thought was, in a way, our theory is, con they were all on the island constantly in a time warp going back in time. And in a way, the second to last season sort of did that, but it needed to end with magic, because that was what the, it was magic and faith and God and, and all that good stuff. It was what the show was going for, and in a weird way, I think it works, in the same way that... 
Star Wars and the Force is basically just religion's greatest hits, just all mixed together. It's quasi-Christian Buddhist, burr, 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 and, it, and it works, and it has a good feel. And somehow it feels original when really all you're doing is just taking, you know, ketchup and mayonnaise going, then making ranch sauce. Um, so, uh, remember the store? It's not, it's not gone. It's not like I don't have these. Uh, uh, fucking Five Below, where everything's like, only five dollars. Uh, I'm gonna get crazy tea out here to explain the pricing system of Five Below. Um, after the show had ended, an entire, uh, 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 entire shiploads of lost action figures found their way to Five Below. And I remember seeing them in a Five Below, and I remember feeling so burned up about how the, the show ended that I, I passed them up. I was like, damn it, yeah, these, yeah, you know, I passed it up. And I shouldn't. I went back 10 years later and we'd watch the show. I promised myself if I live to 35, 10 years again, I will rewatch that fucking show. I already have the, I already have the desire to see it again. One of the other things I really like is the, the setting. Hawaii is beautiful. Um, and, and I really like the whole tropical green jungle setting. It's, it's so refreshing by comparison to rich, drunk sluts in the city. It's always in the fucking city with these, these, these Hollywood folks. It's, you know, they've never heard this one before. It's L.A. or it's New York. What if it wasn't L.A. or New York? Oh, what do you mean? Like, there are other cities besides L.A. or New York. No, 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 just L.A. and New York. Every fucking time. So it was really cool and refreshing. Uh, I liked... The thing that I really liked about it is that I thought the show was m kind of a commentary of what people would do without the government. And, and as opposed to, oh, without Big Papa government, there would just be anarchy in the streets and babies would be burning in garbage cans. And I'm like, or we would establish a natural tribal order and work together to survive. But maybe that's where we came from as people. And this idea that we need Big Papa government isn't, in, it's not, it's not true. It's not true at all. Anyway. So, long story short. Lost action figures. These, after the show, I think, regained popularity after the fallout, you know, how the show ended. Um, they, uh, uh, they went up in price and they became very rare. And they were actually really well done. And I managed to snag two. One off of uh, Amazon for a very low price. They, they shot up to like $100 a shot. Some of them 200 And they're, also, uh, uh, they're awfully rare to find. But another one. I found for 10 bucks in an old comic store in my hometown in Maryland uh, where the guy did not know what he had and he had marked it down for 10 bucks. He's like, sure, I'm, I'm fucking. Let's take a look at the first one. Actual review starts at. Uh, I think the camera says 1752. I've been talking for 20 minutes. It's okay. Yeah, you just, just tell you what. Just put my videos on while you're fucking your girlfriend, okay? And I'll just provide, like, background music. Let me get my Barry White. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Is that, is that any better? Did I help? No, no one who watches my videos gets action. Come on now. Who the fuck am I making that up for? Anyway. Mr. Echo is the first that I managed to get. First off, uh... Mr. Echo. All of the characters were fantastic. That's another thing. Is instead of just the same old drunk sluts in the city, you know, you, you had the, the variety of people. Some of whom were were African, some were Asian. The fact that they had Mr. Kim and his wife, and they were Korean and they didn't speak English, made for interesting writing. Here's a thought. When you put conflict in the show. And the writers have to think of fun ways to get around it, like in real life. It's, oh, it's, it's interesting. Fucking Mr. Echo. Um, I won't spoil uh, it for you, but he is from Africa, and he has a very shady past, and he did bad things. I'm not saying all black people commit crime. Jesus. You're the racist. Get your mind out of the, you know, you know, Rick, get your, get your mind out of the, you know, the, the gutter. Uh, second thing we have to notice here is that excellent packaging. This one is, it's, it's kind of dusty. It's, it was sitting in a, it was sitting in a second-hand comic store or whatever. Amazing. First of all, the, um, the, these are not figures, they're figurines, meaning that they don't bend or move. Uh, I've come to love those a lot more. Figurines don't have any moving parts to break. Fucking Alphonse up in here, doing the alchemy. Being a monster, I mean, he's a fucking monster. Let's be real about what he is. Let's not lie about the shit. Oh, fuck, almost 
drop the sword on the ground. Okay, cool. Um, really awesome packaging. This is how all this is how all all action figures should look. Uh, it's made by McFarlane. People who make it. And um, Mr. Echo, really like this pass. Now, the reason why I said I'm dressed for the part is because it's not going to be difficult for those of you who actually watch the show to guess who my favorite character is. I mean, they're all my favorite character. They are legit fantastic. It's Kate. Yeah, you're right. No, I don't fuck that shit. They're literally in the store. There was one of these of Kate. Remember, these are rare. They, these go for fifty dollars to the least popular character, which is probably Hugo because he's quite large. He's a bit roomy through the middle. That was a reference to Sounds of the Lambs, by the way. Uh, it's pretty, pretty easy to guess who my favorite character is. Uh, oh, fucking lock! Look at that shit! Survival action! Action! Fucking. Locke was, and here's like some of the other stuff. I'm gonna go over these in, in detail. I'm gonna change the camera angle. Don't, don't get pissy yet. Locke was fantastic. Why did I like Locke so much? Identify with his story. He, he feels like he's missing something, and I think he tries to fill in what he's missing in life. I'm not missing anything. I don't, I don't give a shit. I get my dick sucked on the regs. Just fucking kidding. <laughs> fucking. It was like, no, 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 you don't. Don't, 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 don't lie to me, asshole. I'm like, okay, fine. Fucking, fucking. Dude, tender down here. It's broken. It's a dog, 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 dog. That's an actual picture of a dog. Hmm. Swipe right. Uh, I don't know what I, if I like that joke or not. It implies that I don't have sexual relations with a dog, but... And then again, no, 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 it's not. I'm just, it's a commentary on like, everything down here is already pregnant. Nothing. I didn't say it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. To all of my, my people of the South, you are all, uh, you're, you're good. I have a bad, I went to Wilmington. I have a bad sunburn from being at the beach. My neck is actually really red. So I, I'm one of you. It's okay, you know. I'm <laughs> like, hmm, fucking, Wilmington has all the hot chicks there. I'm going to agree with you, though. That beach. Mm. Don't know why. Why am I style like? Because that's a that's a Tolstoy review. I go off on like ninety tangents. It's like how my life works. So I get all the angst out. Deal with it. Yeah, that's that's tough Tolstoy right there. I don't know what this shit like theater fairy shit like. You know, like anything. Okay. Lock. Uh. I also kind of like the fact that he. <sighs> He, he, part of his character, this is revealed from like day one, and, I, and also if you're, if you caught in the sketch, I was doing all of Locke's lines. Yeah. So. Hey dude, like, tell me if Tolstoy needs one of these here vests. Oh my god, never mind. You was so hot today, I almost died of heat exhaustion. Let me add a, yeah, I'm on a tropical island. Let me add a fucking fishing vest on top. The fuck do you need that for? If you have cargo pants, you got more, you got, look at this, look at this shit! This is fucking 5'11", alright? These are 5'11", pan. My cheap ass broke out 50 fucking bucks. 50 fucking dollars, you know? It's... I'm poor. I'm poor! Fucking... Put this shit. Look what this shit's got. Look at this shit. Look. It's got a mag pouch. I don't even have a mag. I mean, I've got a mag. No, I don't got a fucking mag. Look at this shit. I think this is another mag pouch. This is the actual pocket. This is my knife pocket. Check this shit out. By the way, cold steel counterpoint. Yeah. You can stab with that. You'll be, you know, you'll be upset because you get stabbed. I actually was playing with it last night. It really sliced my thumb open. I was drunk. There are lots of times when Tolstoy gets drinky. And then he wakes up with random injuries. And he doesn't remember. Anyway, speaking of which, that's part of the motivation for why I like Locke. Uh, part of his character is that he was in a wheelchair from an injury that he sustained that's revealed in a flashback during the show. And uh, he couldn't move his legs. And uh, he basically, he dreams about doing a mountain man adventure, Australian survivalist walkabout shit. What? Is that, is that what I do? That's what I do. I don't, I don't fucking care. Um, he tries to escape through that. And uh, the unfortunate thing is, is that when he goes to uh, a company that's supposed to be offering tours to the outback, he's told, we, we can't take you. And one of the most famous and rerunning lines of the entire series is, um, is, uh, 
uh, don't tell me what I can't do, which I've wanted to just shout that at somebody at one point, but ironically I've never had, and they wouldn't get it even, no matter what, you know, it's like, fucking, if, I, if I'm like, live long and prosper, they're like, Star Wars, and I'm like, sure, that's what it is, I guess, um, and, um, so, I, I always really identify with them. The other thing is, is that the reason that attracts me is because I've had... I, I realized this driving home from uh, Morrill Mountain Park uh, today. Jesus God, it was hot. It's, it's not that it's... It's not that. It's, it's the dehydration. Probably... Probably shouldn't have drank a, a half, half a fifth of vodka last night. Probably shouldn't. Probably shouldn't have done that. Anyway. I've had, like, an unusual number of injuries in my life. Uh, weird shit, too. Uh, and I don't feel like getting into it, but... I'm kind of a... I kind of jump to conclusions. It's a jump to conclusions, man. I kind of jump to conclusions a lot, and I always feel like... Any time that I get injured... Fucking, you know, it's like there... I'm just... I'm, I'm just... I'm, I'm in a wheelchair, you know? I feel like I'm, I'm useless. I feel like... And then I, I, I go and watch movies, and I think, God, you wouldn't be able to survive that in your current state. I've had bad wrist injuries where from shoveling snow. Remember when they called it the Snowmageddon? Remember when, like, the whole eastern seaboard was under, like, 80 feet of snow? Yeah. And so, my fucking... I had, like, repetitive strain injury. Fuck it. In my right hand! I use that for shit! Don't... Don't... Don't get dirty with that shit. Don't... Don't fucking do that, all right? I don't know why I'm, like, from New York now. I'm not. I should probably get working on my mm, southern accent. I'm gonna get some dip. I'm gonna get some chew. <clears throat> I'm voting for Trump. I'm not. I don't care. I'm not getting into this this bullshit. Um, so, yeah, and 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 I identify with this character. I also really like the speech that Mr. Echo gives. Um, uh, I can't. I can't spoil it. Uh, they're both really great characters. Watch the show. How about? You sit in my lap, and we'll talk about the first thing that comes up. That only works if you... Hmm. I didn't consider the fact that the majority of my uh, viewers are men. So. But let's turn the camera around so I can show you up up close and personal about the box. Because this box, he, is so fucking beautiful. Why am I? Oh. Oh, God. Um. I got blackout drunk and watched Silver Lining Playbook last night. That, uh... Let me explain why I'm talking like somebody from the Northeast. I mean, I am someone from the Northeast, but I have the correct accent. This is the correct accent. Everyone else who's got different accents, you're wrong. This is the one to have. I've done the research, all right? Well, they're supposed to be in uh, Hawaii, so I'll, uh, I guess I'll just put a house plant right there. That'll be, that's, uh, that's the same as Hawaii. That's, that's the new Pokemon Sun and Moon, right there. Did you see it? Oh, and here's my Deku scrub. Holy crap, he's seen better days. Oh, man. Yeah, and he watches over the, the plants. That's how that... That's how that works. All right. So, let's take a look at Mr. Echo. Mr. Echo. Mr. Echo. So, um, really good um, detail. Uh, this is one of McFarlane's best. Uh, in his hand right there, that's his Jesus stick. One of the best lines ever, actually, is, or what, you're going to beat me with your Jesus stick? Fan, just, just, just fantastic. Um, let's see. Full-scale replica of the Dharma Initiative Orientation film frame? Oh, dude! Yeah, that's the other thing. These things are not just figurines. This shit comes with, like, a little stand and, like, a little piece of fake memorabilia from the show. So this is uh, him in the clearing with his Jesus stick. Uh, other things you could get is, um, oh yeah, Sun when she takes off her and reveals her very hot Korean body. Uh, Jack. Oh, I'm sorry, that's Sawyer. And fucking Jin. Fuck yeah, dude. Got to save Michael. I, I, I loved him. I loved him. So, uh, I mean, amazing box. Oh, check this out. You can actually, it comes with like a little bio. Uh, inspired by Lost Season 2, the 23rd Psalm. Oh yeah, that was one of the episode names. Um, with authentic sound clips. These things might actually still talk. I mean, I don't know for certain because, I mean, fucking... I mean, it's it's old. This shit is old. Uh, it, it'll say, Hello, I am Mr. Echo. Uh, I understand that you live in a world where righteousness and evil seem very far apart. But that is not the real world. And tell your friends I let you live. That Mr. Echo let you live. That's back when he was doing... Very shady things. 
Um, oh man, check out the dust on that box though. Oh man, that's that's just that's dirty, girl. Super freak, super freak. Anyway, um, let's crack this bitch open. Uh, the problem is, is that the camera. Oh, is it? Uh, which way is it taped? Okay, it's taped like that. Get that cold steel knife up in that bitch. Let's try slicing the other side. Never cut towards yourself, children. Unless you're drunk, like Uncle Tolstoy. He's always drunk. That's my secret. I'm always drunk. <laughs> yes, I referenced a superhero movie, and I already dislike what I've done. Oh, God damn, more tape. Are you sure? Well, he kind of has a concussion. All right. Mr. Echo, you have been waiting a very long time to get out of that box. What's this loss? Extend your experience on DVD. Um, oh man, this is before Netflix even hit the scene. What the fuck? Wow. Yeah. Um, just take a look. It says that this is the, um, a single frame. Oh, a couple frames of the orientation film for one of the stations of the Dharma Initiative, which was a... Uh, industrial initiative uh, on behalf of some very rich investors to study the magical or maybe scientific um, principles of the island. And uh, it's from the crane station. And that was, that was what their logo looked like. Dude. That's pretty legit. I wonder if you could actually run this into a slideshow. Oh, dude, it's, um... It's the, it's the fucking doctor who's in all the films. You will be participating in a something, 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 something. Yeah, that's that's actually how those lines read. Something, 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 something. That's how those lines read. Something, something, dark side. Something, something, complete. Oh, good, more tape. That's yeah, it's just what I was fucking hoping for, was more fucking tape. There we go. All right, and uh, you get some grass, which is my favorite part. I'm going to have so much fun playing with his grass. Huh, that, that actually did come off. You know, I mean, you could take his fucking grass. Fucking walk up to officers, check out what I got. They'll, they'd taste you. All right, he's got his Jesus stick. However, it does not have the inscriptions all over it. That's, that's, that's not as much fun. He looks every bit as grimy as he did on the show after however many months of living on the island. I forget how many months they had lived on the island. Everybody looked grimy until... Till they found that shower. No, they, they really do find a shower. What kind of shoes did he wear? Oh, those are neat, like little leather loafers. Hmm. Let's put Mr. Echo back here. And he stands on his own. That is the mark of a good, well-made action figure. Does it stand? Oh, fuck, shit, horror, tits. Oh my god, why so much fucking tape, guys? McFarland, why? All right, now it's for the moment of truth. Will this stand say shit? I don't actually even know how to do it. There's no, like, button. Oh, God. Were there instructions? Oh, here's the button. No. It's not happening. Damn it. Maybe it needs new batteries. <sighs> I wonder what it takes. All right. We'll, 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 look, we'll look at that. We'll look at that later. We'll look at that later. Definitely. Definitely. We'll get back to it, Meg. I promise. All right. Let's see what's inside lock. All right, I managed to get Mr. Echo on his stand and put all the leaks in. I guess it's a leak. I don't know what kind of, what kind of... one of the major flaws is um, the pins that are supposed to hold him steady there and his feet. Only the, um, I guess, what is his left foot can go down in. The other one, the pin physically traveled up into the boot of the character and not into the frame of his little stand, so he wobbles. That's okay. Maybe he's got low blood sugar right now. I mean, he looks pretty angry, so maybe he's got his low blood sugar. If you watch the show, you'll find out the real reason he gets angry. Uh, took a quick look, then, at the awesome sauce that came with Locke's action figure. Melbourne Walkabout Tours! Whatever a dinkum is. Uh, if I've got any Australian viewers, please let me know. Fair dinkum deals and tons of activities. See page 12. This is supposed to be the uh, pamphlet that attracted him to the walkabouts that he was told yeah, no crips allowed. And then he got all butthurt and screamed, don't tell me what I can't do. 
which is fantastic. Uh, one of the things that uh, you get, which is bizarre, is parts. Gundam parts. Gundam kit parts. Oh boy, just what I didn't want. It's car parts. A voice box. That's bizarro. Uh, I don't know where this is supposed to go. Uh, it's not built into his stand. It's independent of the stand or some shit. It... Well, see if the batteries last. Fuck me. Nope. Well, um, it's probably been on the shelf for over a decade now, so... Batteries probably aren't gonna work. Or they didn't include batteries. That's probably more likely. See, the issue here is that I don't have a nice tiny little, uh, you know, a screwdriver. Couldn't find me a uh, Phillips head. So, um, we're ever so fucked on that. I'm very sorry. I uh, can't get them to talk for you. Well, you know what you should do? Watch the, the damn show and they talk all the fucking time. Still have no idea what this is. If there's like... If they, I don't know if this is just all advertisement, or if this is, like, instructions, but, yeah, I don't know. So, I maybe I'll have to read it. Um, one of the coolest fucking things about the show, spoiler alert, uh, it comes with the hatch. In the first season, they discover this hatch in the ground, and it becomes the source of much mystery, and very possibly a metaphor for one's need for God to reach out and touch them in a very Melvillian kind of way. This is why stupid people didn't watch Lost, because they're stupid. I'm not saying Lost was genius, but... Um, and of course, it was the obsession of Locke, believing that the island was giving him... was healing him of his problems in order to get something from him. Let's take a look at Locke right now. Oh, he's always looking down because he's like looking down into the hatch. Yeah, he looks like he just took like a mammoth shit, and he's like trying to like look down and see like his own work. Um, again, super great detail comes with his hunting knife that he brought in a case, not his carry-on. He's not a terrorist. Not that white people can't be terrorists. And a nice bottle of water to ensure that he gets plenty of BPA's and estrogen because, as you can see, he is bald. And uh, estrogen helps uh, helps maintain. Uh, good hair. Good hairline. But, uh, it also means no beard. And I don't know if you've seen this guy on TV. He played, like, some CSI d d fucking special d Dracula unit barbershop quartet. And, uh, he grows a pretty wicked beard. Yeah. He's got his compass hanging right there. I actually got my compass in my pocket. These pockets are roomy. Check this shit out. Got the old uh, Boy Scout pocket, uh, pocket, uh, old Boy Scout uh, uh, compass. Let's take a look and see what uh, what direction we're facing here. That should be east. Yep, pretty much. It's not a true east, but and see this. This is the direction you want to go. If you find yourself going in this direction, don't, don't go there. Trust me, I know for certain. So. Excellent detail. Really awesome. I actually really always liked Locke. His backpack. That's yeah, that's just freaking awesome. I didn't even know the. I didn't even know it came with the backpack because I hadn't opened the. Uh, hadn't opened the figure. All right. Uh, I don't know what the other pieces are. If they're like for the talk box. Uh, I don't know what that is, but I am going to apply this guy to his stand. Uh, okay, it only has one. Peg, and the peg is much larger and physically attached to it, so it's not. Ooh, and he's not going down on it, just like uh, that bitch. I know. I'm just kidding. You. Huh? He didn't want to fit. It ain't happening, Captain. Put the peg up in your fucking shoe, asshole. I'm sorry, Locke. I didn't mean to snap at you. Live together, die alone. You know, th what the fuck, dude? Seriously. Alright, hang on. Hold on. Hold on to your titties. Uh, 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 fucking... This happened on the other one. His feet don't go far enough apart. He's not doing the splits. And you can't really force his legs apart. Wow, this is... This is turning Bill Cosby so fast. Anyway. You can't really force his legs apart. And so it doesn't want to... He can either be on one pin or the... Come on. He does not want to get on there. 
Come on, such detail and you guys didn't even fucking measure? Are you kidding me? Okay. So, on Locke's figure, fucking, his shit's not going onto the stand. On Echo's figure, the stand becomes part of his foot. We're kind of fucked on the deal, no matter what we do. I, I guess it's, we're just gonna have to go with that, because it's stable. It just looks weird. And, with these two figures, I can now reenact one of my fa- Oh, no I can't, because he's staring straight down. Right then. I can now uh, reenact one of my- They don't need sound effects. I am the sound effects. I am the one who, who talks. Uh, does it rhyme with knock? Yeah, it does rhyme with knock. Ah, <laughs> bitchin'. Oh, wow. This, this paints a really weird picture when you do that. This, this sort of looks like, like Locke's about to lose his job, and that's his boss. Okay. <laughs> All right then, or or he's going to stab him and he's going to beat him. Oh wow, this is coming off really racist. Oh man, let's just hang on. There we go. I can reenact my favorite part of the of the fucking of the of uh, Man of Science, Man of Faith Part Two. I was wrong. That's he said that. I you know what? I meant to flex his stand and it bumped his stand and then his head. If I had done it, if Mr. Echo had talked, it would have sounded more like I was wrong. Man. What my accent sound like? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not good at this. Okay, definitely, definitely gonna have some finishing thoughts here. I don't, I don't think we're gonna go much longer. I'm sorry for whatever happened to make you lose faith, John. I was wrong. That's terrible coming from me. Now I need to go rewatch the show. Um, I think I put this this video off way too long because when I originally watched Lost. Uh, when I rewatched Lost and fell in love with it again, I was, um, I guess I was on a point where I was going up. In fact, I, I postponed a lot of YouTube videos down here in North Carolina. I'm coming on my way to the land of the pines. Gonna say I hate all you fucking guys. I'm just kidding, but, um, I postponed a lot of videos because I guess I did not want my to be viewed as somehow taking a, a, a down, you know, taking part of the part of going back down or backsliding or regressing because this entire winter I haven't been to the gym, I didn't really go hiking very much, I, I all I really did was drink and I did, I did want to do a video part two on the depression vid but I'll be honest, I as I'm getting older I'm being more cautious about what I'm saying because in the in the Spanish Inquisition that this is in this age, it's um, it's not good to tilt your hand too far forward. But that being said, uh, I'm glad that I finally got it out. I don't really know if it was all that funny or entertaining, and I kind of don't care because ultimately, why I was so happy to do the Raven Rock Park review was because I finally woke up and said I woke up. Just scratched my burly neck beard, my strap, my chin strap, and I said, Ugh, my lady. No, I didn't fucking say that. Um, I said, if you're gonna keep waiting to, to, to for it to look to be perfect again, to be in as good a shape as you were when you left Maryland, if you're gonna keep waiting, you will never get it done. And will that make you feel better? So, in accordance with the major theme of the of the series and the reason why I liked it was because I was watching it at the same time that I was getting certain things together in my life and uh, the major theme of the, the entire show is fixing what is broken about you. But that being said, it's a television show and no one's life is going to constantly get better and better and sitting inside and drinking because I'm depressed, because I haven't been hiking, because you know it's perpetuating. And, um, so, good or bad, perfect, not perfect, doesn't matter. It, I, I got it out. And now I just have to go edit the footage. And that'll take eight years, so, um, Half-Life 3 will be out. I'm just kidding, that's never coming out. But, in the meantime, what you can be watching, while we're waiting for Half-Life 3 and my new video to come out, is lost. The problem is, is that by the time that you see this, you'll... Well, it'll already be out, which means in those eight years you didn't take my advice and watch Lost. Yeah. I want that. I want that clock. I want the patch. I want the button. I want the island. I want the smoke monster. I want all of it! See you.